So a bit of a different video this one guys, but basically I've reached the point where every biker gets to every couple of years and asking a big question, which bike do I get next? So in this video, I just want to reach out to you guys to get a bit of advice. Now I'm at the point where actually I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I really, really want to change uh, my bike and hopefully you guys can help out with that. So a bit of context, I've been riding the uh, Kawasaki ER6 for the last couple of years and I'm in the place where I want to get a replacement for that bike. So I've been riding that and a bunch of the other machines that we get to test here at Knox. But at this time, I'm actually looking for a replacement for the ER6. And typically, like most bikers, I could do it about 10 different machines, but look, I've only got space for one. So this last year, I've been super, super lucky and I've ridden some fantastic machines. So not only bikes like the, the ER6 that I'm riding, but also things like the BMW R9 T, the Triumph Thruxton R, the Yamaha MT-09 Tracer, Ducati Multistrada 950, just to name a few really, uh, Z1000 SX, Z1000R, WR250F Yamaha, which was just an absolute hoot, Royal Enfield Classic 500, and of course the Kawasaki Z900 RS. And actually, I've loved them all. They've been fantastic bikes. Now, since being out to Spain last month, uh, Enduro riding on the WR250F, I absolutely love that. But do you know what? At this point, I'm gonna park the whole Enduro thing and, and get a bike for the road. Um, and I, I am gonna come back to the Enduro thing because I loved it and, and I really wanna do it here in the Lake District as, as well as further afield in future. But I'm just gonna park that one for now. Now I hear you say, well, get like kind of a, an adventure, a trail bike that can do both on and off road. And honestly, having kind of ridden properly off road um, in, in Spain, I just don't think that that kind of bike could do, or certainly I could do the kind of terrain that that we did out in Spain on some of these bigger bikes. They're just so heavy, they're just much more cumbersome, uh, you know, in comparison to a proper enduro bike. So, you know what, it's my decision, but I think I'll wait for um, a time where I can get a proper um, enduro bike dedicated to that job. I love classic bikes. I absolutely love the look of the Royal Enfield, plus some of the real nice retro style bikes that are available, modern bikes like the Z900 RS, like the XSR 900 uh, Yamaha, all fantastic looking bikes. I could also see me on some kind of custom chopper style thing. I mean, we were down at the bike shed a couple of weeks ago and just some of the motors that were coming in here and the sound of them, there's nothing like that kind of riding. And the type of riding I'm doing here is up in the Lake District mostly, mostly it's commuting. Um, but it's a no traffic job, so it's not like a, a city commute, for example. It's no traffic, a lot of fast road stuff, a lot of ride outs on evenings, a lot of sort of weekend um, stuff. And I'd also really like to do some sort of European fast um, road uh, work as well. I'm also a real fan of sports bikes. And even though this is the uh, genre of bike I've sort of least experience with, I remember from all the shows that I've been to, there was a particular era of sort of mid-weight sports bikes. You know, the probably the 2006 to 2010 era of mid-weight sports bikes just did it for me. I remember looking at them and thinking, oh my gosh, one day I've got to own one of them because they just look phenomenal. And particularly in the all black color, there was uh, a number of different models back in um, th that kind of era. Um, you know, the ZX6R, the Yamaha R6, and of course the GS6R, um, 600 and 750 variant in all black, K6 through to uh, sort of K8 era, just really hit it for me, and I absolutely loved them. Plus it seems to me that that light to mid-weight kind of sports bike market just seems to be on the wane at the moment. A lot of the manufacturers moving out of it. So it might actually be, you know, of the moment to pick up a real nice clean machine of that era while I still can. 
So onto my short list, I've kind of narrowed it down. Firstly, the Kawasaki Z900 RS. It have to be in the uh, candy tone orange uh, look for me, but it's a beautiful bike. It rides well, it's got a great engine, it looks fantastic. The only slight concern for me is this, is kind of keeping it clean in the winter, um, looking after those downpipes that are quite um, sort of open and keeping them clean. Plus also, and this is just a niggly thing, I have got a couple of question marks just reference the fuel and it did just seem a bit snatchy for me and I just don't think it should have to kind of sort that kind of stuff out, um, you know, after it just being brand new. Number two is the GSXR 600 in all black K6 to 8 K8 model. Beautiful bike, beautiful aesthetic, all black, sleek as hell. Maybe not the fastest 600 of that era, but for me, it just looks right. And of course, the GSXR 750 from the same era. Then the Kawasaki ZX6R from that same kind of era. Again, beautiful looking, all black, yet looking really smart. Great engine. I've ridden a bunch of Kawasaki, so I know it's going to be good. But there's the odd question mark uh, reference the, uh, the finishing and the paintwork and stuff just from some of the reviews that I've read. Um, so maybe you can sort of help me out with that one. And finally, the BMW R9T. Again, stunning bike, rides really well. It's fantastic. That engine has got such a lot of character. I love that boxer engine. You get a bit of shake on it. Um, the only thing that's kind of put me slightly off just is the weather protection front of that. But other than that, awesome bike. Okay, so that's my short list. Obviously, I've got some different models in there. You know, what do you guys think? Um, you know, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'd love to kind of get your advice, you know, if you've got experience with any of those particular models and hopefully you can kind of help steer me in the right direction with this one. So thanks for watching. Really look forward to kind of hearing your guys' comments and your advice and what you think and all that kind of stuff. And please look for the updates for what I end up getting. There will be an absolutely epic review of the bike that I end up getting. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. But there's one thing for sure, whichever one I go for at Knox, we've got the gear for everyone.